is up guys EJ here back with another video and uh, today it's going to be my blu-ray DVD update for uh, December 11th 2012 uh, so I've got uh, seven new movies to show you uh, six blu-rays and one DVD um, I did manage to sneak a DVD in there um, it will make sense uh, why I got the DVD as well um, amongst all these uh, blu-rays all the Blu-rays were movies that came out uh, last year in uh, 2011. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, first, I picked up uh, Cedar Rapids. Um, really, very funny comedy. It was like the first really good film I saw in uh, 2011, uh, starring Ed Helms, John C. Riley, uh, Anne Hayes. Uh, Ed Helms plays a insurance salesman who goes to this uh, convention in uh, Cedar Rapids. Um, I forgot which state that's in, but uh, it's a very funny movie. Uh, John C. Riley has some hilarious lines. Uh, one of the funniest lines I heard all year uh, was from John C. Riley in this film. Um, and I was really surprised by Anne Hayes. I didn't even know she was in it going into it, and she's very funny, very sexy. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. One of the best uh, comedies of last year. Okay, moving on, a very uh, popular film, uh, depending on what side you fall on. Um, this film has people who love it and people who think it's uh, kind of overrated. And I'm, at first I was sort of in the overrated camp, and that is uh, Drive, uh, directed by uh, Nicholas uh, Winding uh, Ren, or Refn, I don't know, <laughs> his, his last name spelled uh, pretty weirdly. But uh, I know a lot of people love this film with uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, Carrie Mulligan. Uh, the supporting cast is very good. Uh, when I saw this, I absolutely loved the soundtrack. And um, I'm playing all the music from, uh, from this film in this update. I thought it was that good. And I really liked the opening scene, the opening sort of getaway drive scene. Uh, but beyond that, I... I felt the film moved a little bit too slow. I thought Ryan Gosling's performance was it was it was hard to uh to almost uh keep awake. Um the film didn't bore me, but um I was sort of let down by the second half. I was sort of really um underwhelmed by the whole thing uh in general. Um but I know a lot of people love this movie. Uh it is a good film. Um Carrie Mulligan is great as well. And uh, she's appearing in another film I picked up uh, this week as well. Okay, moving on. Um, Drive Angry. Um, awesome, fun film. I got the 3D Blu-ray. Uh, Nick Cage, great. Um, what's her name? Amber Heard was very cool in this, very sexy. Uh, she kicked a lot of ass as well. And the guy who's the real standout of this film, let me find his name on here. Uh, William Fitchner. He was awesome in this. Um, it's so over the top and cheesy and fun. Uh, lots of great action and sort of a cool story, in fact. Um, it sort of got slammed when it came out, but it's Nicolas Cage uh, on Overdrive, if you like. And as long as I picked up Drive, I had to pick up uh, Drive Angry as well. Okay, so up next we have the DVD. And um, it's a film I uh, got, obviously, because I got the Blu-ray um, coming up in a second. And that's uh, Harold and Kumar, uh, Escape from Guantanamo Bay from uh, 2008. Now, uh, I love the first Harold and Kumar, uh, Go to White Castle, and I really liked um, a Harold and Kumar, uh, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas, which I'll get to in a second. But I also wanted to pick this up. Um, this is probably the weakest of the three by far, in fact. Um, I really don't remember much about it. And the biggest problem I had with it at the time when I uh, first saw it, um, I really felt like they set up a brilliant sequel at the end of the first film. Uh, Howard and Kumar go to uh, Amsterdam. Uh, would have been a perfect sequel uh, to Howard and Kumar go to White Castle. Um, but they sort of missed the boat and they made this film. Um, I thought it was set up perfectly for them to do that. Um, if you've seen the original, obviously you know what I'm talking about. And a Harold and Kumar in M Amsterdam film would have been awesome. Um, yeah, sort of disappointing. Um, I do like uh, 
Cal Penn and uh, what's his name? I forget the other character's name at the moment. John Cho, yeah, that's it. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is very good, very funny in his uh, appearances in this movie. Um, but yeah, they sort of missed the boat as far as I'm concerned with the uh, the first sequel. But moving on, I also picked up uh, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas uh, 3D with the cool uh, lenticular cover. Um, this was a blast. Um, came out last year. Uh, this might actually be my favorite of the three. I still love the original, but this one was so much fun, so funny, and one of the few movies uh, since Avatar to really put the use of 3D um, to good use, um, even though that doesn't really make much sense. But the 3D in this film was loads of fun, totally made sense, and they, and they used it very well in clever ways. Uh, it was a lot of fun, sort of redeemed. Uh, Guantanamo Bay in my opinion. Um, I love these characters and uh, yeah the Christmas one that came out last year was just great. Okay moving on. Uh, next we have a, uh, a very good film and that is uh, Shame with uh, Michael Fassbender and uh, Carey Mulligan again. Um, Michael Fassbender plays sort of a, uh, a very controlled man uh, a New York uh, executive of some sort, um, but he has a deep uh, and disturbing uh, sexual addiction. Um, he's obsessed with sex and uh, porn and uh, masturbating, um, but he's very controlled about it. He, he has his normal life, uh, but whenever he has the opportunity to have sex or uh, gratify himself, he does. and. Um, his world is really turned upside down and um, shattered when his, uh, his sister, uh, played by Carrie Mulligan, comes to visit. And she's sort of all over the map. Her life isn't really in order as much as uh, his is, on the surface anyway. Uh, great performance by Fassbender. Uh, Carrie Mulligan, great as well. Um, I did not love the ending. I thought the ending was a little too much for the type of film it was. Uh, what happens to Carey Mulligan's character. Um, it didn't really fit with the movie, I thought. But still, a very good film, uh, directed by Steve McQueen, uh, who did uh, Hunger, I believe, uh, which I haven't seen. Um, but yeah, Shame, uh, really good and great performances by the two leads. Okay, last but not least, um, I'm not a fan of MMA. Uh, I just can't get into it. I don't know the sport that well at all. Um, and I'm not a huge boxing fan because um, boxing just basically sucks these days unless you watched uh, Pacquiao Marquez part four um, but whatever uh, but boxing always makes for good movies that's always been my feeling uh, Raging Bull Rocky of course uh, and recent films like The Fighter uh, Cinderella Man they're all great films so it would sort of make sense that uh, Warrior uh, which came out last year would make for a very decent film. Uh, whether you like MMA or not, uh, this is a very good movie uh, starring uh, Joel Edgerton and Tom Hardy and Nick Nolte. Uh, Edgerton and Hardy play uh, two estranged brothers. Uh, Edgerton plays a, uh, a school teacher and uh, Tom Hardy plays a, um, a returning uh, Marine from uh, the, war, the War on Terror and uh, Nick Nolte plays their father um, and somehow they wind up in the, the ring together at this tournament uh, Tom Hardy gets his dad to train him uh, Nick Nolte uh, very good performances by all three of them especially Nolte I was really sort of impressed by him um, his voice is sort of gone these days um, if you've seen him recently he's, his voice isn't what it used to be um, but he's still a good actor and Tom Hardy <laughs> can't do any wrong at the moment uh, he's just great and uh, Joel Edgerton uh, was good as well uh, if you like MMA this is definitely a must get but if you don't like me still a very good and compelling film uh, with a great cast and great performances uh, so those are the uh, seven movies six blu-rays all from last year and one uh, one DVD uh, to complete my uh, Harold and Kumar collection uh, I got got the two uh, two sequels uh, to the original classic. 
Um, well, it's not really a classic, but it sort of is. Uh, so that's my uh, update. Thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bomb. James Bond.